so hello everyone so the divine ai is here and uh, today we are going to see that the divine ai is the fear it is creating the fear among the software developers uh, uh, who are the coders so actually uh, is it really the devil or it is uh, something that we should worry about or it is uh, it is just uh, a stunt marketing stunt of the companies so we'll be seeing that in today's video that uh, what we can do in this era of ai to be on the edge so let's uh, start with this thing with the video it is the introduction video uh, by the devin ai um, by the company cognition hey i'm scott from cognition ai and today i'm really excited to introduce you to devin the first ai software engineer let me show you an example of Devin in action. I'm going to ask Devin to benchmark the performance of Llama on a couple different API providers. From now on, Devin is in the driver's seat. First, Devin makes a step-by-step -step plan of how to tackle the problem. So now you can see that it, it is given a task. Here is the task. And then the Devin is actually making a plan that how to proceed. So it is working like a really AI software engineer. Yeah. After that, it built the whole project using all the same tools that a human software engineer would use. Devin has its own command line, its own code editor, and even its own browser. In this case, Devin decides to use the browser to pull up API documentation so that it can read up and learn how to plug into each of these APIs. So you can see here, this is the Devin's workspace. Like we have, we have do some to-do list and with that to-do list, we actually be proceed. So as the AI software engineer, it has the command drawn, like uh, command uh, line is there. Then there is a, uh, there is the uh, browser is also here and the VS code e type editor is also there. So combining all these three, uh, it is going to complete the task something like the real human being. Here Devin runs into an unexpected error. Devin actually decides to add a debugging print statement, reruns the code with the debugging print statement, and then uses the error in the logs to figure out how to fix the bug. So you, actually you can see that it made an error. So if it made an error and it is not getting the results, then it is actually doing the debugging thing. So that is that is that is quite crucial to understand this thing. Um, like as we developers, we get trained uh, for the one year, or two year. Then we are uh, very good at debugging the things that what is the issues uh, at the different parts. So like it is quite uh, efficient. Finally, Devin decides to build and deploy a website with full styling as the visualization. You can see the website here. You can see that how it has executed the project. It has actually uh, taken the API, then does some computation in between, and then actually showing the results. It is something like a deployment thing. So it is quite efficient in doing this thing. So, okay. The all of this is possible today because of the advancements that we've made in both reasoning and long-term planning. It's a really hard problem, and we've only just started. So, so like uh, making uh, AI like this uh, really requires a lot of uh, energy and the thinking. So you can use you know, ChatGPT for benchmark is one point seven four percent, and this David is thirteen point eight six percent on the real world software engineering performance. So that is quite uh, nice to you can see. But we're super excited about the progress that we've made so far. In the meantime, if you'd like to try out Devin on your own real world tasks, send us a request below and we'd be happy to forward it to Devin. So actually you can, you can uh, request them to give you some like early, uh, early access to this, uh, this, uh, Devin AI, so you can also use it. I have actually uh, um, 
on the 12th or 30th March, I have applied for that. So uh, let's see when we'll be getting that thing, uh, that access, then we'll be, uh, uh, I will be taking uh, the whole tutorial for you. So, so like introducing David, the first AI software engineer. Yes, like it is, it is now the reality. You can see setting a new state of art uh, on SWE benchmark uh, coding benchmark. Okay. So like Devin is the fully autonomous AI engineer and its capability is long-term reasoning, planning. It can actually execute the things very easily. It has the browser, editor and the command prompt, like all the things that a, a human require to do the coding thing. So that is what the Devin have. Devin can learn the unfamiliar technology and it can also build and deploy apps end to end. This is very, very, very beneficial. Like Devin can really build the app and deploy it. So that is the important thing. Then Devin, uh, Devin can autonomously find and fix bugs in code bases. That is also uh, really awesome, you can say. And it can train and find you its own AI models. So the most amazing thing is this thing, that it can really found, fine tune its own. Okay, so this is really unbelievable, you can say, because Devin is uh, able to fix himself or herself, what, uh, like what you will tell about the gender. Okay, so uh, this was uh, the whole thing and uh, David can access the bugs, whatever. then there is a, uh, David can contribute to the mature production repo, repo so like Devin has a lot of things. You can see the benchmark here. It is quite amazing. Then uh, Cognition actually, co Cognition has made it. Um, and um, so now guys, so this was the whole thing about the Devin AI. There is a lot of hype uh, in the people that, oh, Devin AI is there and uh, uh, people are going to have lost the jobs. So is it right? Yes, it is right. People are going to lose their jobs due to this AI. Because this AI will do the work for uh, like work of the 10 or 50 or 100 of the people at one time. So the developers who are doing this work, they will definitely get replaced. The person who who is actually uh, making a project or designing it, he or she will give the command to this AI and this AI will be able to do it. So does it mean that we have to fear about it? No, we don't have to fear about it. Actually, it is the time. It is the high time to change. Like we have to embrace the change. That AI is there. So we can meet uh, different type of software, different type of apps, websites uh, in just a one go. So that is the opportunity for ourselves. So, so it is the opportunity we have to leverage and that is the beneficial thing. It is something like a Jarvis in the Iron Man. The Jarvis has not replaced the Iron Man. It actually helped the Iron Man to be the Iron Man. So I hope you got an idea that you have to be relevant. You have to use this AI tools to uh, get the maximum productivity. Even there is a human connection that will be always there. So, like, things will change, but uh, how you are ab adapting to it, that matters a lot. So, um, so we are going to end this video. Uh, when I will get the access of this Devin AI, then I will surely made a video on it. And uh, uh, by this video, we are going to end this, uh, this session. Of Looking to upskill for the future? can perform all coding jobs in seconds, including blockchain development. While this AI is already outperforming accounting firms. Meanwhile, the new graphic design AI aims to automate graphic design and could minimize the need. Relax. Because in a future where AI does most of the work, there'll be one thing that humans will finally get to do all day long. Nothing. So it's time to learn the most essential skill of the future. Five Star presents Buffing University with the first ever diploma. Yeah. So I hope uh, you enjoyed that. Uh, and uh, okay, so 
uh, thank you so much for watching this video if you do then please uh, share it subscribe the channel and like this video thank you so much meet you in the next video